Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I am making some napkin rings that you can use at your dinner table for Thanksgiving. I'm using the Heartfelt Creations Classic Sunflower Stamp and Die Set. This is an absolutely beautiful stamp set. I've printed it or stamped it out twice on some white 110 pound cardstock, so it's pretty thick. And here are three different distress inks. The first one there I'm using is Wild Honey. I will also be using Spiced Marmalade and Vintage Photo. And I'm just using a little bit of water and a small water brush or paint brush. And I'm just adding a little bit of water and I'm going to color in the three largest flowers on each of those images. I'm not trying to be too careful. I'm just placing down the color. And what I love about this is it will have variation in color. It'll give it a little, um, you'll see the degree in color. Some will be a little bit darker than the others. After I've colored all those in, I did take my heat gun to them and made sure they were dry. I used a baby wipe to wipe off my acrylic block and then I dried it. And now I will place down some spiced marmalade and do the exact same thing. I will quickly color each one of those petals. This classic sunflower collection has lots of other stamps that coordinate with it. And that's what I love about the Heartfelt Creations. They usually come out with several that will match and coordinate. So now I'm going to put down a little bit of vintage photo and just fill in the centers of all the flowers. You end up um, not seeing the centers because I took hover them, but I wasn't sure at this point what I was going to do. So I went ahead and colored them in. Again, taking my heat gun to them to make sure that they're dry. Now I'm going to use a blending tool and my vintage photo and cover the entire flowers. I wanted to deepen that color. You can leave them bright if you, if you want to, but I wanted a little bit more of a fall looking flower. So here's the classic flower, sunflower dye. And this makes it super easy to cut them out all at once so you don't have to fussy cut them. So I'm just going to match up the dye over the flowers and add a little bit of scotch tape. And I place it on my multi-purpose platform, cut side up, then I place my cutting pad and then my extra uh, cutting plate or my extra plate on top. And I run it through a few times and it cuts out perfectly. So again, I have it cut side up, my cutting plate first, and then my other plate on top of that. And now I'll just remove the flowers and the tape, and I will throw away any of the flowers that I'm not using today. So in total, I, I cut out four of each. I end up not using the largest flowers, but I will save them. I'm going over the edges again in Vintage Photo. I wanted to darken just the edges a little bit. And now I'm using a foam mat along with a stylus and I will just give these flowers a little bit of dimension just by making circular motions in the middle. It's breaking up the fibers of that paper and as you can see it gives it dimension when you do that. And now I will be using a paintbrush to curl the edges of all the flowers. Like I said, the extra large flowers you see up in the right hand corner, I decided I'm not going to use those this time. And on the smaller flowers, I am using my bone folder to bend them down, to curve them down a little. And in the end, I'm making two flowers. So I'm using two of the medium size and then two of the smaller sized, and I am adhering them together, just alternating the petals, which will give them a fuller look. Just using some hot glue to do so. And as you can see, that gives that flower some dimension, which I love. I'm doing the exact same thing to the second flower. 
holding it in place in the middle as I bend them up. So now these are little centers um, that I've had in my stash for a long time. They came with some petaloo flowers years ago, and I thought these would look perfect in the uh, middle of the sunflowers. One of them was a little large, so I had to cut it down. So as you can see, that that's going to look perfect. Cut It Home does have prills, which if you haven't seen those, you might want to check those out. Those would be gorgeous in the center of these flowers. I was thinking that when I was making that, that I need to get some of those. So there's my two flowers, and as you can see, they got several colors in them, which I love. Showing you the leaves that I got. These are from Walmart. They just say glittered leaves. Here's the burlap. This is from Walmart also. So I'm just going to cut two strips out of that that are about two inches. I think by six, but I end up cutting the, the length down a little. So here's my napkin. I'm using just a regular napkin. We don't use cloth napkins, but if you did this project with cloth napkins, it would be gorgeous. We just don't have any and we don't use them. So I just went ahead and made them with the napkins that I had on hand. I pulled out a piece of non-stick paper. It comes in with the tape that I purchased and I'm laying that down so when I put the hot glue down it does not stick to the napkin. It sticks to the burlap only. I save all those because I end up using them for things just like this. So now I glued that together and just cut off the extra burlap. And then I will eventually pull that non-stick sheet out from under it. I'm pulling out the classic sunflower paper. This is the 12 by 12 paper. This is gorgeous. So I thought this would be perfect for this project. And it was. I'm just trying to decide which pattern I want to go with. I decide on this plaid pa paper here. So I just cut off a little bit. And I cut strips at 1 and a quarter by 12. I ended up only needing one of those. But I cut two out. And now I'm simply going to wrap it around, glue it down, and then cut it off where I need it. Again, using my bone folder to break the fibers of that so it wrapped around a little bit easier. So I just kind of rolled it around and cut it off, glued it down, and I'm adding a little hot glue to just make sure that it stays down. All the while that nonstick sh sheet is behind there, that way it cannot get glued to the napkin. And here's the flowers, and I also had some sprays and little pine cones in another little bag that I got from Walmart. And I'm simply gluing those to the napkin holder. And with a little place card, it really turns out to be a cute embellishment on your table. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Check out Cut It Home's blog. There's all the product codes of everything I used in this project today, plus lots of inspiration. And come find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and my blog spot, all at Corrine's Creations. There's some detailed photos to follow, and all the links will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching.